Mexico Volcanoes, part two. We're going to start off with Guadalupe. And get a little bit of a tilt here Whee. and take a good look. Guadalupe Island is a seamount. The island contains two shield volcanoes, the northern of which is the youngest. Chains of cinder cones constructed along fissures oriented both northwest, southeast, and northeast, southwest, and are associated lava flows overlie both shield volcanoes. The longest of these fissures cuts across the caldera of the northern volcano and extends beyond it to the southeast. Other pyroclastic cones were constructed along an arcuate fissure near the southern caldera rim. Let me get a look here. Look around the outside. And moving on to the next one, Los Hamaros. is a series of silicic volcanic cinders with active geothermal systems located north of the axis of the Mexican volcanic belt. You can see this Veracruz over here, Puebla, Veracruz. And this is Los Hombros town over here. So that's a town. And moving on to the next one is Tacta Hati. Dormant volcanic mountain in Mexico located on the border between the state of Mexico and Puebla. It is the nation's third highest after Pico de Orziba, 5,636 meters or 18,491 feet, and Poco Capital, 5,426 meters or 17,802 feet tall. And you can see this is Popo over here. That's pretty big. Our next one is Jaraguay Volcanic Field. And the volcanic field is the northernmost of a group of large, young, alkalic, alkalic volcanic fields in Baja, California. 
you can see how big it is. And it's pretty big. Next one is Joga Joko Titan. Joko Titan. And we're going to come down here and do a tilt so we can see it better. It's an isolated composite volcano that rises 1,300 meters above the Toluca Basin, 60 kilometers west-northwest of Mexico City. And there's a park over here. Our next one is El Jurilo. It's a cinder cone in the Mohican, central Mexico, on the southwest slope of the central plateau, 33 miles southeast of Europan, in an area known as the Mohican Ganjuato Volcanic Field. It is about six miles east northeast of La Honca, La Hocana. Its current elevation is 4,360 feet. El has four small cinder cones, which have grown from its flanks. The vents of El Jarilla are aligned in the northeast to the southwest direction. Lava from these vents covers nine square kilometers around the volcano. Later eruptions produced lavas that had higher silica contents, making them thicker than the earlier basalts and basaltic andesite lavas. El Jarilla's crater is about 1,300 by 1,640 feet wide and 490 feet deep. El Jarilo is one of two known volcanoes to have developed in Mexico in recent history. The second, born about 183 years later, was named Piracutan after the villagers nearby that it eventually destroyed. Piracutan is about 50 miles northwest of El Jarilo. El Jarilo was first erupted on 29th September 1959. Earthquakes occurred Prior to this day, first day of eruption, once the volcano started erupting, it continued for 15 years, eventually ending in 1774. And this is Percutin here and El Jarula over here. Our next one is La Malachi. You can see how big it is. I'll try to back out a little bit more. There we go. And it's La Malinchi. Is an inactive volcano, dormant for the last three thousand one hundred years. Our next one is Mascota Volcanic Field. It's 
It's a group of cal alkaline, andesite, and minette cinder cones and lava domes, both with associated lava flows. It's located near the town of Mascota. And Mascota is right here with Ber Chris Berdy there. So this is Mascota here. And this is Muscoda Volcanic Field here. Our next one is Montezuma Volcanic Field. We're going to pull back a little bit. And of course, it says it's a volcanic field. Our next one is Noah Linko volcanic field. And this is a volcanic field in the Sierra del Chico, Chicanquelo, Falco. Chicanquelo, Sorry, you guys, I'm still learning how to say these words. And our next one is Nevado del Toluca. And this is a large strata volcano. We're going to come down here a little bit. You can see how big this is. I want to go around on this side. And then we're going to see if we got a view here at all. So now we're inside. There's a bicycle. See all the rocks. And this is inside this crater here. And Nevado is over here. Our next one is Papayo. And it's a post-glacial lava dome. Our next one is Paracutin.
this is round view here. It's a cinder cone volcano in the Mexican state of Mohican. The volcano is unique in the fact that its evolution from creation to extinction was witnessed, observed, and studied by human beings. It appears on many versions of the seven natural wonders of the world. Paracutan is part of the Mohican Ganajanto volcanic field, which covers much of the west central Mexico. It is part of the Ring of Fire. That's really neat. Let's see. Oop, I guess we could land the bottom there. There is a spot here, so let's see if we can land inside here. Okay. Here we go. We're going to get to land in the crater here. It's kind of cool. How cool is that? Okay, guys, so that was from inside. Our next one is Pico de Orziba. And we're going to do a 3D here. It's Mexico's highest peak and Northern America's highest volcano. It's a stratovolcano, caldera, and lava dome. Okay. And get a view on how big this thing really is. It's huge. And the next one is Picante Peaks. We're backing up a little bit. It's a volcanic field in the Sonoran Desert. So we can back up and you can see how big this is. All the little cinder cones and Mars end. If we look, um, you can see it's all the way out here. This is huge. From here, all the way around.
And I'm wondering, we can see if there is or not. I don't know if we can see anything from over here, but we're going to go right here where this little balloon is. You can see it over here in the distance. Oops, let's go back up. Uh, okay, that didn't work. There you go. All out in the distance, there you go. Next one is Popo Capital. And let's see if we can get a view in here for this one. And no. Bring it back up here. The name means smoking mountain. It is a glacier clad strata volcano. Our next one is La Reforma Caldera. It is an early Pliocene caldera, which contains basaltic, aldes aldesetic, and daxic lava flows and rhyolitic lava domes. And let's look over here. So you can see it's huge. And there's nowhere to look over there, so. Our next one is Samborgia Volcanic Field. It is a volcanic field, also known as the El Rosarito Volcanic Field. Holocene lava flows occur at Rosarito and Moro San Domingo at the western end of the San Borja Volcanic Field along the coast north of Vizcano Peninsula. Some volcano flows of the San Borja Volcanic Field are less vegetated than flows of the San Quentin Volcanic Field to the north that overlie 5,000 to 6,000 year old midden deposits. So we can look a little bit here. So 
you can see a landline here. And it's huge. Our next and last one for today is Isla San Luis. And it's a tough cone, lava domes, and tough rings. And there's nowhere to land over there to look, but thought interesting. Anyways, you guys. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, share, and I will be back on part three soon. Thank you, and have a good day.